All right, let's see how to generate a clock. <laughs> All right, so the clock that we want to generate, uh, let me draw a picture of it. Um, I want it to go high, and then I want it to go low, and then I want a separate clock, and I want it to go high, and I don't want them to overlap. And I don't want these to overlap when it repeats. There we go. So that's how I want the clock to be to be uh, to be generated. All right. All right. So um, let's think of these as states. We have high states and low states. We have ones and zeros. And let me kind of slice this thing up, okay? So I'm going to slice this. So um, when we go from here to here, then it starts repeating. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six states. And during the first two states, we're going to have a high, and then it'll be low, 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 low. And then we'll have a low, 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 high, high, low. So we can draw that in ones and zeros. And so let's take a look at the first one. Um, and let's write them vertical. So we have a one, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, we're going to call that our P0, our, our P0 signal. Let's look at our P1 signal, P1. P1 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. All right. So if we had something that just clocked and it, and it clocked in this fashion, we would generate these, these waveforms. So um, let's build a counter. Let's assume that we've built a 3-bit counter. So uh, we're going to have uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 1. Okay, so that's binary counting from 0 to 5. We'll call these uh, Q2, Q1, and Q0. Okay? All right. So if we had a bunch of random gates, AND gates, OR gate, NOR gates, those type of things, we could build combinational logic. If this was our input, if we had a three-line input to some gate, and our three lines needed to generate this, okay, let's just think about P0 first, okay, it would generate, for a 0, 0, 0, it would generate a 1, a 0, 0, 1, it would generate a 1, and then everything else it would generate a 0, all right? So we can write a um, logic equation. So what do we know? So we want it to be high, high. So let's look at the three signals here. Well, Q0 could either be high or low. So it, it doesn't matter. We can just ignore Q0. We need that Q1 needs to be a 0 and Q2 needs to be a 0. When Q2 is 0 and Q1 are both 0, that's this box right here, okay? That when both of those are 0, we will generate a 1. Then if Q1 is 1 or Q2 is 1, we will generate a 0, so we won't generate the 1. So we can write an equation. We can say um, P0 is going to be not Q2 and not Q1. That just says when Q2 is low and Q1 is low, generate a 1. Okay, so that's what this equation is. So let's take a look at P1. So let's see if we can write an equation for P1. P1 is going to be true when uh, Q1 and Q0 are both high, right? 
Uh, so let's write that. So Q1 and Q0. So when Q1 is high and Q2 is high, and that's the only only time that's true is this one line here, we're going to generate a, a true. The other time we're going to generate a, a true is when Q2 is high. Okay, so we can say or Q2 is high. If we just said Q2, then Q2 is high here and here. But we want this last case to be a zero. So we have to make sure that we have um, Q2 high and Q0 is low. So not Q0. So those are going to be our two equations. And this truth table and these equations will generate that waveform. So let's take a look at our coding for the uh, uh, the couple coding for the uh, GAL device. And here are our two equations. Um, here's P0. In fact, we can take it right down here. P0 equals not Q2 and not Q1. So that's how this equation was generated. And then the other one is P1 equals Q1 and Q0. Uh, uh oh. Q1 and Q0. Hmm. <laughs> Q1 and Q0. Q1 and Q0. Oh, did I write it down wrong? I did write it down wrong. <laughs> so when we're, you probably saw me already, you're probably yelling at the screen, hey, you did it wrong. Um, so when Q1 is high and Q0 is high, so this is Q1 and Q0, or Q2 and not Q0. All right. So Q1 and Q0, or Q2 and not Q0. So there we go. Sorry about the sorry about the mistake. But that's how you write these equations. You you write a truth table. You figure out what works, what doesn't work. Um, there's probably better ways to do this. Um, if you um, shifted them a bit, you can imagine that if we shifted these all down. So I said zero, one, one. 0, 0, 0, and I had 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. That would generate the same waveform. We're just shifting the phase by one count. Okay, so we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So if we take, so this will now be our P1, this will now be our new P0. We could write a different set of equations now. We could say, okay, um, look at this. We want a 1 and a 1, okay? And look at our count. That's just Q2. So our, P, our P1 equation would just be Q2. That's all it would be. <laughs> and it would work great, because the only time Q2 is high is exactly where we want it to be high. And then our... Uh, P0, P1, we look over here, oh, look at that, 1 and 1, so we could say, oh, uh, our P0 would be Q0 or Q1, okay? If that's high, generate a, generate a high. If that's high, generate a high, all right? But we don't want them to be both high, so we could make this an exclusive OR. But then we run trouble at the bottom here. Okay, so we want them uh, 
high and high. This one also has to be low, so then you would have to say and not Q2. So now we're here, but now we have this condition here as well. So this would have to be an exclusive OR. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know in couple what you would write, but you could say Q0 exclusive OR with Q1 and not Q2. So that would be, an, these two equations would also be able to generate that waveform. Maybe this one's a bit more complicated. Maybe you understand this one better too. I think I do. Um, so anyway, there's different ways to do this. Um, and I'm sure there's several, several other ways that I haven't thought of. Um, but that's what we're going to do. So let's look at the, uh, the GAL uh, 22V10 datasheet and I'll show you how these gets used.